Councillor Paquette. Oh, thank you. Uh, Councillor Carmelo and I are fairly close to age, so I too used to tie an, an onion to my belt. Uh, however, rather than go down memory lane, uh, I will, I'll talk about the future. Um, in line with Edmonton City Plan, we are set to grow to a population of over 2 million people within the next 30 years or so. And uh, that means growth. And it used to be that when people said growth, everyone cheered. Now, everyone gets a little bit worried about how we pay for it. Um, as we attract new families and workers to settle here, uh, we're going to see a lot of benefits to this, to this city. And a growing and diversified workforce means stronger local economy and so on and so forth. However, as the city grows, we need to address the growing demand for capital services. Uh, traffic volumes will increase, causing frustration for drivers, and we simply can't build more road lanes to accommodate that uh, to the degree that it will be required. There will never be enough money as referenced by the numbers that were thrown around. But we can get transit working better. We can provide other outlets and active pathways so that those who choose to leave the car at home can get around, making the commute for car drivers a little less aggravating and a little more cost effective. And we also have neighborhood renewals and revitalization. Our communities deserve good, well-constructed streets, alleyways, and green spaces. And we simply can't put all of these things on the back burner like past councils once did. The infrastructure debt grows far too quickly and the cost to move forward on things exponentially grows, especially in these times. It would take decades, as we have seen from the past, to dig out from under that neglect. I agree, this budget requires a prudent eye to affordability and restraint. And these budget deliberations must also show that restraint, and I believe in many ways they do. Um, but one of the things that concerns me is the prospect of a looming recession paired with increasing inflation. What this would mean is that capital projects that we don't start sooner become far more expensive later and our ability to move on them may be compromised. It's important to note that a lot of these projects are stretched out over almost a decade so what looks like a large number right now is in actuality um, on a year to year basis, uh, much smaller. And uh, in terms of a rec center, for example, um, Councillor Knack shared with me an article from, uh, I believe it was 2009, talking about massive uh, increases in the cost of a rec center in South Edmonton. Uh, and boy, it's the story that uh, we've told over and over again. So there's a lot of work to do. Uh, this is a great uh, omnibus motion. I wanna thank the mayor and uh, his office for putting it together. Um, as Councillor Knack said, this is something fairly new. And uh, one thing that I would say that I hope doesn't get lost in this conversation about how much we spend on roads is that we actually do have to spend on roads. I mean, for good or ill, the majority of people drive and our goods and services are delivered uh, that way. And so I hope in this conversation, what doesn't get lost is the need to also expand prudently and judiciously in road lanes when and where they're needed. And maybe that's not a popular thing to say among urbanists, but it's also realistic. We need all kinds of growth. The fact is we just need to do it in balance and with an eye toward future and current sustainability. So I will be uh, supporting this, I'll be voting yes, and I look forward to uh, the further conversations uh, on amendments and also uh, as we move forward into the operating budget. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, sorry, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Councillor Paquette.